Mimi nakubaliana na viongozi ambao wamezungumza hapa siku ya leo. Kwamba wanakupatia wana zingatio kwamba tafadhali wewe weweka macho na nguvu na mawazo yako kuwafanyia wananchi wa Kenya kazi ile ambayo ulipatiwa. Ya kuhakikisha kwamba umewainua na umeinua mwananchi baka anajihisi kwamba vile tulikuwa tumewaambia tutainua wale wako chini baka wafike juu hiyo ndio kazi ambayo sisi tumekupatia. We must all accept to live under the constitution. We cannot allow people to selectively read the constitution. Najua mimi nikiwasikiza wale viongozi wa azimio wanasema ni haki yao kuandamana na kwamba it is provided for by the constitution. Na mimi nakubaliana nao nasema hiyo ni kweli kabisa. But I want to challenge them also to stop reading the constitution the way some drunkards read the Bible. Najua kuna walevi wengine wanaenda wanasoma tu 1 Timothy 5:23 ile linasema kunywa mvinyo kidogo isaidie tumbo yako wanafunga na kwenda kwa centre hivyo ndio pia hao watu wazimio wanasoma katiba hiyo hiyo katiba ambayo inasema you can demonstrate ndio katiba pia ime establish our supreme court and the same constitution says once the supreme court has dispensed of a matter that chapter is closed it is final kwa hivyo uwezi kuchagua ati unasoma katiba ile na kupatia rusa ya maandamano lakini ile inakuambia uheshimu Supreme Court unawachana naye. Hiyo ni unafiki. Tukubaliane kama tunataka tuishi under katiba, let us all follow the constitution so that we respectfully live in a country that we respect each other's rights. Ujue kwamba the same way it is your right to picket and demonstrate, it is also my right to go about my duties uninterrupted and work without being bothered by those who are demonstrating. Na hiyo ndio tuna expect to one kesho. Mimi natumai polisi wameka mipango kabambe kuhakikisha kwamba yule anataka kuinua handkerchief na kufanya ile mzee wa kitenda wili amesema apatiwe land yake. Yule mwananchi pia anataka kwenda kwa kazi yake na kufanya biashara yake apewe fursa aweze kufanya kazi yake bila kusumbuliwa. Kitu tu mzuri ambaye ilifanyika ni kwamba wakati jana jioni mimi nimemmsikiza yule mzee kwa taarifa alisema kumbe hata ni kama alikuwa ameripotiwa vibaya amesema hata hakusema anakuja state house alisema anachagua watu wawili watatu wa kuletea barua hiyo ni mzuri kabisa mi napenda vile ameanza kuweka reverse kwa hii maneno unajua kusema ni rais lakini kufanya unajua state house vilikuwa nasikia watu wanasema ati ati tutaenda state house state house kwa sasa ni kama bibi ya wenyewe ukikaribia shauri yako na ni vizuri kwa sababu wamesema wanatuma barua kitu tu ile mimi ningemsaidia ningemwambia siku hizi kuna hata kitu inaitwa WhatsApp badala ya kutuma watu kwa kuleta barua huko kuzumbua watoto wa watu mimi nitamtumia namba yako leo jioni pengine alifuta hiyo kitu yote ambaye anataka kusema atakuwekea kwa WhatsApp na we utamtumia majibu badala ya maneno mingi hii tokee watu wanarushiana mawe na kusema sijui tutatishana tutafanyana ile unajua pengine kwa sababu ya miaka kuenda mzee ajajua tulitoka kwa posta tukatoka kwa ile vitu ingine ya zamani Siku hizi watu wanawekeana vitu kwa WhatsApp na maneno ya Isha. Ndio maana yeye bado ana insist anasema lazima kutakuwa na petition tutachagua watu wawili watatu wapeleke ati barua hiyo kwa kwa state house. Sasa wewe rais nafikiri hata kufikia leo jioni atakuwa amepiga mabadiliko kwa hiyo mambo ya petition atakuwa ame reduce na aseme nilisema mande lakini si kusema hii mande ya kesho. Vile unajua Kutangaza ni raisi, kufanya ndiyo ngumu zaidi.